Are you crying? Are you being a baby? Hey, are you being a baby? Don't be a baby. Let's go to the workshop. Come on. Welcome to my workshop. See, I've kind of upgraded my spot welder just a little bit. It's much safer to use now, although it's much weaker. Hey, little dude. Let's see what we're working on today. Working on all the balance wires for the BMS. We've got that one already together. We're just waiting on some more captain tape and some shrink wrap. So this is what we're doing today. Putting this together. Pretty gnarly, huh? Let's start putting some together. Are you crying? You are crying. Don't be a baby. You want to go inside? Go inside. There you go. Okay, so, just wrapping up this battery, we need a new spot welder though definitely because this one just doesn't hack it, I'm not hacking it at all. so much. It's Florida. Okay. Put this one here. Getting there. Two left. This is what I've been doing to keep myself entertained while waiting on my bike. Not only doing this, but I've been teaching myself how to do this. I've never seen a Sauron in person. I've never met anyone else who has an interest in e-bikes really whatsoever. Um, excuse me, I know there's a lot of them out there, there's not, I guess around town, not that I've met, so, I'm an early adopter, I guess, and if I can be an early learner of this shit here, well then, the future could be bright. I've literally taught myself how to do this just by watching YouTube videos. So, yeah, looks nice. Hope it performs well. These cells are capable of a high rate of discharge, which is kind of what we're going for. Yeah, it'll add to the range, but. Really, we're looking for power out of this. Broke my little wire snips while uh, taking apart a microwave transformer. 
so those need to be replaced. Along with my spot welder, which performs very lackluster. Okay, so now it's got a spot weld, a couple little tabs on, and then solder the wirings, and wrap it up, and we're done. Another thing also, you can have your BMS wires plugged in while lining up all your wires, right? But once these two get connected, these can't be connected, at least at first. You gotta connect these, then make sure all these are correct, and then you can plug this in. If these are not correct and you plug this in, I don't know what will happen, but it'll be bad. So, yep, there you go. That's it for today. Well, I'm gonna keep working, but... That's it for y'all. Thank you. Like and subscribe. Maybe I'll keep more content coming. Maybe not. I don't know. It's kind of hard making these videos. I don't know how to edit, so that's definitely a problem. Bye.